Good morning, YouTube. I hope you had a wonderful week with your students. Today is the very last full day of school. We have our period one exam today, and then we'll go through the rest of our classes. And for period one, my students have elected to use their cumulative exam grade as their final exam grade. So I have about two hours to work in my classroom and finally get you know things cleaned up. One of the things that I always get asked about is how do I organize my equipment and materials? So this has been a long awaited video. So if you teach more than one level of chemistry, for me, I teach college prep, AP, and honors chemistry. So I definitely have a difficult time keeping everything organized. So today I'm gonna to spend time taking everything out of the cabinets. I'm gonna kind of lay them around the lab area um, so that I can kind of group like things together. I did purchase some bins to help keep me a little bit more organized. I know in the last video when I was talking about um, lab equipment and some of my best lab purchases, I talked about um, trays or using baskets. The baskets that I have are really great, but they're not super good with holding heavy things. So I did go out and purchase some things from the container store. Um, so I'll show you what that looks like. Um, but really the goal for today is just take everything out, put it like things together, like content areas together. And then probably what I'll do is I'll come in tomorrow and finish that up. So this will probably take place over the course of two days. So I think right now I'll show you what I purchased and then I'll move into starting to kind of take everything out of my cabinets and getting organized. I purchased three different sizes of bins from the container store. So I got these little bins, I got the medium size bins, and then I got these large bins. And so these bins fit very, very well and nice into my cabinets. And so the, the goal of these bins is really for me to just get myself organized, organize all the equipment that I'm using for each individual lab. And the plan for right now is for me to just go through and just kind of take out everything from from these cabinets so I can see exactly what I have. I'm going to kind of lay them over the lab tables here so that I can kind of group things together and then ultimately I'll put everything back and hopefully it'll be a lot neater and a lot more organized. with today. Good morning. So it is the next day. Um, it's Friday. We are technically off from school today, but I have to come in and I have to finish this because I have a third period exam. So I need to use every possible square inch of this classroom to seat the students and spread them out for their exam. So I have to come in and I have to get all of this organized. So the plan for today is really just to get all of this stuff off of the tables, off of the counters, so that I have um, some space to seat the students for their exam next week. And I did bring my cricket to school today, so if I have time, which I'm hopeful that I will, I can actually start labeling where stuff is. I did have the ability to um, start organizing like one of the cabinets, but um, yesterday was absolutely like one of the most insane days of school. Um, just like it was crazy because we had the first period exam and then we had a drill during my period three class. And then, um, you know, it was just one of these things where kids were coming in and like asking me to sign their yearbooks and stuff. So I just really hardly got anything done. And it was kind of like the last like – 
day that I would see my AP students because a lot of them elected to, well, the majority of them elected to count their cumulative exam as their final exam. So um, pretty much that was the last day to see them. So I was kind of spending more time talking with them. So yesterday was insane um, and I didn't really get anything done. So the pressure is definitely on today to make sure that I finish this because like I said, I have to clear this off so I'm ready for my exam on Monday. So here we go. see the back is all clear back there I'm pretty much almost done sorting everything by content the only thing that's really left is AP chemistry specific stuff that I think I'm going to end up putting right here but you can see you know it, it looks pretty organized I've definitely been like utilizing my bins um, so I think I'm going to take a break for right now and then I'll check in with you in a little bit and show you what else I've been doing well I am exhausted I did it though look around look around look around everything's cleared off I will show you what my cabinets look like the only thing that I didn't get a chance to do well there's a couple things. Well, obviously, this needs some work. But um, I at least cleared everything off, all the testing seats. Probably when I come back on Monday, I will kind of work on this because I don't have, like I said, I have a period three exam and the day is period two and then period three. So I've got a prep period in the morning. So that'll be good. So I have a chance to finish that. Um, but I did not get a chance to label any of my cabinets because it's about 1.15 and I have a tutoring appointment at 2 o'clock. So I thought I would just quickly show you what my cabinets look like and ultimately how I am going to kind of just like organize everything. Um, like I said, my, my intent was to organize everything by content. Um, so I'll show you what all that stuff looks like and I'll show you how I used some of those bins. Okay. So this section of my classroom, I've always used as a place to prep chemicals. So to make my solutions, do any dilutions, um, maybe like take some time to, um, you know, take anything and put it like in those little um, specimen cups, right, all my solid chemicals. So I designated this side of the room to have all my reagent bottles. Um, I also have... Um, different pieces of equipment here that I would possibly need for students like pH paper and stuff, some of those smaller stuff. Um, but this is really, like I said, a place for me to just make anything that I need to make for a lab. And then this part down here is all my extra equipment. So for example, in here, I've got extra glassware. I'll just show you what it looks like. So I've got my extra beakers and my test tubes. Um, I did try to use bins wherever possible because some of these boxes are huge, but there's not a whole lot of, for example, test tubes in them. So I didn't want to use like this gigantic box. Um, this has some other stuff like, for example, um, test tube racks and Bunsen burners and my well plates. Um, and again, the, the plan is to obviously label all this stuff so I know what it is. And then over here, um, this is how I organize like all my 
like metal uh, equipment that the students would need. So um, I'm going to have to redo my lab station. So there's a lot more equipment in here than we usually would be in here. And it's just because there's nothing in the lab stations right now. And then for this part of the room, the last thing is I've got my ring stands and I've got some paper towels and again, extra glassware with um, graduated cylinders. So that takes care of this part where it's like just equipment. I chose this part of the room. Sorry, I'm sorry if that's in your ear. I chose this part of the room because these, this is really the place where students aren't likely to be. Um, so my room is set up so that like all these tables are, um, you know, lab stations for students. So I want it to be in a place where I could quickly get to and my desk is over there. So I thought it would be just the easiest and made the most sense. Um, you know, if a student's missing a piece of equipment, I could just come over here. One of the things that I thought made sense, at least for me, was to, again, organize my stuff in terms of content that I'm teaching. So regardless of whether I teach honors, AP, CP, if I'm teaching something about atomic structure, all my stuff is going here. So in this set of cabinets. I've got my light and electron configuration stuff. I've got um, anything with atomic structure, like for example, like I do phenomenaling. So I've got my balloons in there. Um, I've got these little like cool candles. So um, all this stuff is really just for me to teach all about light and atomic structure. I thought that made sense to me. And then in this drawer, um, just more like extra stuff. So I've got like sandwich bags and extra lighters. Again, more pieces of equipment that my students might need that I need to get to quickly. And then over here, this is now where I get into bonding. So usually after atomic structure stuff, I have bonding stuff. I did place extra balances here because I like to obviously lock those up in the summer. So I'm going to lock those up. But I've got bonding. I also have, you know, conductivity testers because um, we talk about, you know, conductivity when we first talk about bonding and the differences of ionic and covalent substances. Over here, this is all my gas stuff. So I've got... Um, for example, like my udiometers and I've got pressure gauges. I've got, you know, my copper wire to hold the magnesium. Um, and then down here, it made sense to me to put intermolecular forces down here. So I also have some intermolecular forces stuff here um, for, I again have like the blue glitter lab stuff, right? I do a diaper gel lab with the kids. I've got, um, a distillation kit, some column chromatography based stuff. So this is all my intermolecular forces stuff. I saw, I thought kind of gases and intermolecular forces that kind of made sense. And then over here, I had to finish putting my gas stuff because this stuff is for um, AP. So we measure molar volume of a gas. And then I also have these uh, bell jars, which I've talked about before. And then in here, so I've got gases and I've got mole stuff. So this is like all my mole stuff. Um, so like, for example, I do, you know, the mole lab where the students measure out, you know, however many moles of different substances. Um, so this is all my mole stuff. And uh, this helps again to just kind of keep me organized because I thought it made sense that moles and gases would go together. And then here's my titration stuff. So I've got a lot of titration stuff. I've got my um, burette clamps, funnels, and then in here I've got my pH meter. So this is typically um, for AP only. I don't really do this with honors or CP, um, but this is all the stuff. This this hasn't changed. This is what it was before. I'm actually going to take this off because this was here earlier. And we're almost there. This is reactions. So um, after like gases and all that stuff, we go into reactions. So I've got my electrochemistry stuff over here. Um, I have some miscellaneous gas stuff. So I do like a stations lab with gases. I also have um, one little container there of like we do a rates of reaction. So I kind of threw that there. So I thought kind of reactions and reaction rates would go together. So that's why I put these here. But you could see I used all these bins to kind of help organize this stuff, make it a little bit easier for me to pull it in and out. And then over here, I don't have anything in this drawer. So I do have a lot of space left still. This is thermochemistry. So I've got a lot of thermochemistry. And then over here, I have solutions. So I put those two things together. Um, I've got my, this is my like little ice bucket type thing, right? So this is my thermochem. And then I do have an AP specific area, like stuff 
like that I wasn't really sure what to do with. Um, so like, for example, these are all like different kits that I've purchased with AP that I'd like to try. So these are the Flynn kits. Um, Got to be honest, I'm not super impressed with some of the stuff I have tried, but I'm going to keep at it and see what happens. Over here, I've got, um, again, some more like AP specific stuff, right? So we've got our little cuvettes. We've got some Kim wipes, and this is a hydrate lab that I do with the kids. So this is kind of like the AP designated section. Um, and then down here, I've got a few more AP goodies that were kind of left over like a buffer lab for example um and then that's pretty much it so that's pretty much how i chose to organize everything i don't think there's anything in here yet so like i said there's still some space left in my classroom so i'm not like completely chock full of stuff so i do appreciate the ability to be able to move stuff around if need be but gosh i've been waiting so long to do this i'm pretty happy with the way it turned out so yeah, I think this was a very productive day. I accomplished my goal. I have been waiting, like I said, years to do this and I'm feeling pretty good about what I've done. The only thing, like I said, that I have to do is I have to label where everything is so I don't forget. Um, so I think what's gonna happen is I'll probably leave my cricket here over the weekend, I know, but it'll be okay. <laughs> I'm sure nobody's that interested in it, um, but I'll use that probably on Monday to start making some labels so I know where everything is. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. And like I, like I said, I like the fact that I'm not like so packed full of stuff that I still have you know the option of making more kits and stuff. I do have quite a lot of bins still left over. I didn't use as many as I thought, so I'm gonna um, think about you know putting some of my labs on trays. I kind of was feeling like a lot of urgency because as I had mentioned earlier, my students have to use the lab area to take their exams. So I was like, I gotta get this stuff in. But for the majority of stuff, it's pretty much in where it's gonna go. But I am thinking about some trays that I wanna create for different labs. Um, you know, anything that takes a long time to set up, I think that would be really beneficial for me. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really excited to finally have this done because I've been waiting so long to do it, but I think it looks great and I accomplished my goal. And uh, yeah, so now the rest of the time will be for me to just kind of start cleaning stuff up so I can be ready for summer. I will do one more video next week to kind of reflect on my year and um, talk a little bit about what I'm teaching next year. But as always, I thank you so much for watching this channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to share this video with another teacher to get some ideas for how you can organize your lab, please do so. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend and I'll be sure to check in with you guys next week.